The American Athletic Conference announced Wichita State joining league play in the upcoming academic year. I'm now joined here by the commissioner of the American Athletic Conference, Mike Oresco. Mike, when the president's vote took place last week, what was ultimately the deciding factor and why adding Wichita State to the league would make the most sense? Well, I think, Haley, it was the uh, desire to strengthen our basketball primarily and the idea of one team as opposed to multiple teams had appeal to the conference. And I think the presidents took the recommendation of our athletic directors, which was Wichita State is, it fits our profile. They'll be a tremendous addition to our basketball conference. They'll strengthen us in a lot of different ways. They'll raise our RPI. They'll, they're, they're geographically compatible with so many of our schools. So there were a lot of things in their favor. We didn't have to do this, but just because we didn't have to doesn't mean you wouldn't want to do it. And I think the prevailing feeling was, and it was a unanimous vote, is that this does strengthen our league and down the road, that's going to have beneficial effects. You mentioned geographically speaking, and the conference has a wide variety of schools all over the country, but Wichita actually has a pretty great proximity to several schools. Do you kind of anticipate many, any rivalries kind of drawing up outside of Tulsa even? I think so. You know, if you really look at our conference, we're not as geographically disparate as a lot of other conferences. I mean, the Pac-12 goes from Washington all the way down to Arizona, uh, the uh, ACC now from Miami all the way up to Syracuse, Big Ten, Nebraska, all the way east to Rutgers. So we're, we're within a certain range. We've got schools in different parts of the country, and they don't have natural rivalries, of course. We're a different kind of conference in that regard. I think Wichita, because they're good, will develop rivalries with schools like Cincinnati and UConn and Memphis and others. The natural rivalry with Tulsa has always been there. They're down the road. But if you look at our schools, Houston, Dallas, uh, SMU, uh, Memphis, uh, Tulane, uh, Tulsa, they're, they're all within geographical proximity of Wichita. And I think people will just enjoy going to their arena. They're sold out all the time. They have great atmosphere. They have great fans. Uh, so all in all, I just don't see a downside. This has uh, been great for the conference. You kind of just touched on it, but the conference has gotten quite a bit of attention the past week. It's been in a lot of conversations. What have you been most surprised with following this announcement? I guess the the, the uh, incredibly overwhelming, you know, positive response. I mean, there wasn't a naysayer in it. Uh, I don't think uh, we thought it would be well received. I, there was no reason to think not. On the other hand, I've never seen a response quite like this. We're on the cusp, I think, of something really good in basketball, and this reinforces it. It's, it's, it's just cast a glow over the entire league. So I, I guess the only thing that surprised me was the overwhelming nature of it. Uh, but it didn't surprise me that people would think that this was a good addition for us. And, and by the way, you know, longer term, I think that uh, they'll be, they will energize the league. I think they'll help all of our teams. Our teams will help them. They won't have to worry, I think, about getting an at-large bid now if they're a really good team and they don't happen to win the tournament. So, uh, but the response has been very gratifying. Wichita State brings a very passionate fan base with them. How can adding another passionate fan base like that help grow the brand of the conference? I don't think there's any doubt that, one, they'll bring people to the tournament. Two, when you go there, you always have sellouts. I think they'll travel. I mean, they're not going to travel necessarily everywhere in the conference uh, in great numbers, but I think they'll travel. I think just the idea that there will be new rivalries, I think for TV, this will energize things. I don't think there's any question that when you add a team like that, it raises everyone's boats. You know, the, the, the RPI will definitely be, uh, be elevated. I think the, uh, the units we earn probably will be increased, but that wasn't the primary reason. The primary reason is let's strengthen our basketball. Let's add prestige to the league. This league has a lot going for it. You know, we're doing very, very well in football. We're doing great in women's basketball. In, in, in men's basketball, we've done fine. It's not like we haven't done well, it's just we haven't done as well as we want to do. And I think Wichita, and it's a long-term thing because Wichita has a sustainable program. They care. You know, they've got great commitment from their donors, from their university, from the fans in that community. I understand the response out there was incredible. And I think that'll probably, once they start playing, I think they'll have a real effect uh, all over the league, as you point out. I, I, it's, it's inevitable. They're, they're a very good team. Also, we're, we're catching them right on you know, the cusp of another great season. They've got everybody back. Uh, I think taking them in 17 is good for us. You mentioned them making an immediate impact on the league. And for example, this year, when you talk about the NCAA tournament, the top two teams from the American both earned six seeds. Wichita State's a 10 seed. So how can Wichita State and the American Athletic Conference joining forces maybe not even just help the overall amount of bids the conference gets, but the seeding? I think seeding will be very important. Uh, you know, we have been dissatisfied with our seeds the last several years. I don't think our conference has garnered the kind of respect we deserve. Now, in fairness, we have to do better. 
you know, we didn't have a deep run in the tournament this year, but I think Cincinnati and SMU probably deserved higher than six seeds. Certainly Wichita deserved higher than the 10 seed. I don't think you'll see that anymore because if you play in our conference and you prevail and you have a good season, you're going to get a, a, a good seed. But there's no question we want to compete for top four seeds. That's, that's who we want to be. I think it's a process. You know, the committee has to gain more respect for us. I think Wichita adds a shot of adrenaline to that right away, though. I don't think there's much question, and that'll help everyone. They bring a strong brand of basketball and a passionate fan base. And hearing about that atmosphere at Coke Arena at Wichita State, it sounds second to none across the country. What are your plans for getting out there and kind of witnessing this firsthand? I will definitely get out there probably in July when we welcome them into the conference. And I'll definitely get to a game. You know, uh, Haley, I watched a few games this year and I could just feel that, you know, that incredible fan passion, you know, the emotion. Uh, the, the arena was filled. I think they fill it to over capacity. I don't think they violate the fire laws, but they uh, they managed to <laughs> fill it to over capacity. They've got great donors, great support for that that uh, team, and they have a brand. Uh, Greg Marshall is a great coach. He's universally acknowledged as one of the best coaches in the business. But I, I just think in the end, they are uh, you know they become a national brand probably in a way that maybe I even underestimated based on the response we got as a conference. And I love it because it's also something we're doing for basketball. You know, football drives so much of, of uh, what goes on in college sports these days, whether it's revenue, whether it's TV. But remember, basketball is, is obviously one of the, the, the important sports that we, obviously, we sponsor. And I think this shows a commitment on our, our part to basketball. Not that we haven't had it, but the point is this shows a, a reinforcement of it. And I think in the long term, it's going to help the conference and it's going to help the prestige of the conference. I couldn't be more pleased about how it's turning out. Something that we talk about a lot is the growth that this conference has seen and the coaches that are in this league. I mean, really second to none group of coaches and Greg Marshall adds to that group now. Do you think that this is collectively the group of coaches that can get this league to the level of basketball you want it to be playing at? I don't think there's any doubt about it. And I'm glad we, we finally have the kind of coaches we have in place. I mean, it took a little while, but when you really, Greg Marshall will be sitting around a table now with coaches that have, who have won national championships, who have been to final fours, who have just tremendous overall credibility. If you look around, we've got a group of coaches that I know are, are going to take this conference to the next level. I don't think there's any question about it. I think Greg Marshall feels it. I think he's really pleased to be sitting in a group like this. And coaches are key, let's face it. Coaches are critical to programs. If you don't have the right coach, the program's probably not going to make much progress. If you do, I just think overall, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't have success. As you said, we're, you know, we're, we're still building. We're on the cusp. And um, I think in the long term, this conference is well positioned. All right. Well, congratulations on this great addition to the league last week. And thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. Oh, my pleasure, Haley. And uh, again, uh, the last thing I would say is we as a league, we didn't have to do this. This was not something we needed to do. This is something we did because it just made sense. And I'm really glad to see the writers and the media and the public saying this is a win-win. This is one part of expansion that really does make sense. And it's just gratifying to see that. But thanks again for having me and good luck. Thanks, Commissioner. Take care.